Hey, it's Josh, and I just returned from my 10-day Vipassana silent meditation retreat. And I wanted to give a little bit of a, an overview of my, uh, my experience, although it is a very uh, personal experience. Everyone's going to have you know, some different stuff come up during it. So rather than getting into you know, my own personal experience of it, I just want to give a very subjective account of uh, what, uh, what Vipassana was all about. So first of all, it was a very positive experience. I highly recommend it. But I want to couch that with the, the warning or the heads up that it is also a very physically and mentally challenging experience. I, I look at it kind of like a meditation boot camp. So if you're looking for a, a nice, silent, relaxing meditation retreat in the woods, uh, that's not this. But it is uh, very healing. And Vipassana is a technique that once you learn it, uh, you can use it throughout your life. and it has profound benefits, uh, you know, spiritually, mentally, physically. Um, it definitely is worth looking into if you've been called to this sort of experience. But with keeping in mind that this is not for the mentally weak, this will definitely challenge you. This will pull up a lot of stuff uh, and it will force you to dig deep. So. Just keep that in mind. But as far as the course itself, very well constructed. Uh, Vipassana was an excellent technique as well. The facilities were great. Uh, sleeping quarters were amazing. Um, you know, food was delicious. Uh, vegetarian meals, very simple. But and you 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 take what you get. Um, but uh, very healthy, nutritious, uh, well balanced vegetarian food. Two meals a day. Uh, the schedule was pretty rigorous. The gong goes at 4 a.m. You're up for meditation. Um, they have uh, breakfast at six. More meditation, uh, group meditation, uh, with instruction, and uh, it's the same basic schedule every day. But the technique progresses. So the first several days, we're teaching you just basically hone your concentration skills, uh, teaching you to focus your mind so that you can become very aware of, um, you know, from very gross sensations to very subtle sensations. And then after several days, uh, leading into about halfway through the course they teach you the actual Vipassana technique, which is kind of like um, a mental CAT scan of your entire body. So you take the, the focusing, the mental focusing, focusing concentration skills that you learned and you apply that to uh, following sensations in your body. And they'll explain, explain why that is. Basically a lot of the, uh, the distractions that go on for us in our mind constantly pulling us into the past or into the future rather than being into the present and constantly you know grasping after craving you know desires or uh, pushing away resisting aversions that we have it really stops us from being here and now and having control over how we act choosing how to act rather than always reacting so this technique basically digs deep into the roots of where that's coming from and it allows you to become less reactive and sort of live life by design rather than by default. And it explains how, you know, without digging into this, where this is coming from, you can sort of deal with this on the surface of the mind and use like intention and willpower to change your actions, but they'll always have these impulses coming up. So this gets down deep into that. And I mean, I can't explain, you know, this is like, you're looking at eight to 10 hours of meditation a day over 10 days straight of instruction. And at the end of every day, leading, uh, finishing with a discourse uh, over an hour from uh, Guanca, the person that founded the, the course. So it's not something that I can sort of uh, run through in a, in a video. You have to go and experience it for yourself. But uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, something unique and that I see a lot of potential in. The, the technique itself reminds me of um, somatic therapy uh, that Dr. Levine used for, uh, for PTSD. It has some similarities as far as... Uh, working with sensations in the body. I'll leave it at that. I uh, didn't quite know what I was getting, getting into when I went to it. A few people had said it was one of the hardest things they've done. Uh, some people have said it was one of the most profound experiences they, they've had. Some people have changed their lives. Some people, they just said they came out with like a clear perspective or more relaxed. And um, I thought it was just gonna be challenging because I was uh, gonna be off all internet and not speaking for you know 10 days and uh, meditating a lot. Uh, out in nature and that would be a little bit of a change but it goes a little beyond that 
but I was very pleased because this was not just a, a getaway. It was a very intensive course and it taught a very useful skill. So that's my overview of the experience. I uh, hope if there's some people that have been considering it and looking into it, uh, that gives you some idea of what you're looking at potentially. If you have any specific questions about my own experience, uh, what, what I got out of it, I'd be happy to share if you want to message me personally or just post a comment down below. Um, but I'm not going to get into that in this video. Let me know if you're going or if you have gone yourself. Uh, I look forward to hearing from uh, other people's uh, opinions and experiences. And you know, if you like this video, found it helpful, give it a like. Subscribe for some more videos I have coming up soon. And until next time, stay awake.